Hey there, all my Fast Track superheroes. I hope everybody's doing great, staying healthy throughout this crazy time that we're all living through. Um, just kind of want to do a quick recap. The video we did last week was about um, medical oh, um, transition from your pediatric doctor to ooh, a PCP or primary care physician. Um, so if you want to go check that out, that'd be great as well. Um, and today's video is going to be kind of similar, but it's going to really be about making that appointment and making your doctor's appointments about you and making them to where they're more centered around your needs and making sure you understand everything. So without further ado, here we go. Um, so really the title is like making that appointment about you. First, you actually have to schedule the appointment. I will be providing a link of like maybe a script and different things for you to like fill out so you can call a doctor and be like, hey, my name is so-and-so, so I like to see this doctor and different things like that. So I'll provide that link and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me about that. So, oh, say you've made the appointment already and everything's good as gold. Before that appointment, write down any questions or concerns that you have, whether that's maybe you've noticed something that's different about you who maybe you're not feeling so well, or maybe you're like, well, I don't know, maybe you're just not feeling you. So you write that down and be able to, to tell your doctor about what's going on. Then, after you've written down, make sure the day of the appointment, you bring those questions to you that you've written to the doctor's office. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to write them down, and then you forget your paper and you're like, what were those questions again? You don't really remember. Er, so, yeah. Um, also, make your own appointments. Like I said, it's good to start making them because you don't want to have your parents or whoever making your appointments for you and then all of a sudden, oh, you're living on your own and I need to go to the doctor. I don't know how to make it a doctor's appointment. So it's good to start early. As well as, it's really important to ooh, ask what your conditions are, what your symptoms are, and what happens if I get if things get worse, what do I do? Those are really the three important questions that you should be asking. Also, tell your doctor any medical history and what your needs are. So if you've been in the hospital before, your type of disability you have, the medications you have, um, if you've had any surgeries, um, also like what your needs are, like say, Hey, like I'm, I'm a wheelchair user, so I need this because of this. Different things like that. Also, if you see a special doctor for whatever type of disability you have, or just in general, tell that doctor to send those files to your normal doctor. All right, so you want a cohesive, like a big group of doctors that are working with you. They need to know everything that's going on with you so they can better treat you as a patient. And, and that way, the normal doctor can talk to your special doctor and then work out a plan to better help you. Also, the next one is bring a list of medications you take to your doctor. I'll also be providing a link to a medication list that you can print out and write on. Really essentially is like what kind of medication it is, what you take it for, how much of it do you take, and do you have any side effects, and different things like that. So I'll leave a link to that as well. Also, bring your insurance card. Now, I'm going to be doing an entire video about what insurance is and what it covers and different things like that. All you really need to know right now is a lot of you may be under your parent, guardian, or whoever's insurance, at least until your age of 26. Thanks. Now, now, with that being said, you have an insurance card that you give to your doctor and sometimes you may have to do a copay co so you pay like depending on your insurance like 20 bucks and then you're good to go to your visit and some it's more some it's less it just depends the insurance card is what your insurance provides is and pays for other than what is going on normally so some things insurance will pay for some things insurance will so it's good to have a talk with your insurance provider but I'll get into that to the next video as well. Also, 
ask a lot of questions. This appointment is about you and you only. So if you have a question, ask it. Also, make sure you understand everything the doctor is telling you. So if they say something and you're like, what does that mean? I, uh, ask. Ask for clarification. They're there to help you understand what's going on. And kind of lastly, if you feel comfortable enough, right now maybe like the first couple of visits, you may want your parents in the room to make sure you're doing everything correctly. But after that, it's like tell your parents or whoever is going with you to stay in the waiting room while you visit your doctor. You want to be as independent, uh, independent as possible, and you don't want to be relying on anybody else to help you with a lot of stuff. So that really concludes like your appointment and making it things about you. Um, also, like I said, I'll provide the script for you that you can fill in, different things like that, as well as a medication list that you can write down that you can give to your doctor, your social doctor, or whoever you see. Um, like I always do, I like to wrap up with the superhero highlight of the week. Um, that would be, today would actually be, I think, one that a majority of you all know, and that's Iron Man. Believe it or not, Iron Man does have a disability. He actually has a heart condition. Um, if you remember in like the first Iron Man video, he was shot and he had he had shrapnel all stuck in his heart. And the source of power that is um, really Iron Man is called the arc reactor. So it's like the thing that goes on his chest. And that's preventing the shrapnel from going and entering into his heart. Well, what's going on with that is, is obviously it's a heart condition. And, and obviously he's had to make his own medical appointments. He's had to do all of this on his own. So yes, even a person as strong as Iron Man has some type of disability. That's kind of really what I want to leave with is he's managed, managed all this time. So I'm pretty sure you can manage as well with all the different things going on and making appointments and making them about you. So with that being said, again, I hope everybody is staying safe, staying healthy. If you need me, feel free to contact me and I always want you to remember to always look on the upside. Thanks. See you in the next video.